Today we are going to talk about insulin therapy for treatment of diabetes. Insulin therapy is mainstay of treatment of diabetes in type 1 diabetics. Type 1 diabetics are already deficient in, in insulin. So oral hypoglycemic agent or oral diabetes medicines do not work in patients of type 1 diabetes or patients who present very early in states of diabetes. In type 2 diabetes, the major defect is the insulin resistance, which can be overcome by various drugs which are available. But as the disease advances, the cells which manufacture insulin, they also get exhausted over the time. These cells which manufacture insulin are known as beta cells. So in pathogenesis of diabetes, eventually beta cells are going to die out. So the medication which were effective in early stages of diabetes may not be effective in later stages of diabetes. And later stages of diabetes, one may have to switch on either on insulin alone or insulin in combination with oral hypoglycemic agent. That means insulin plus tablets or insulin alone. Insulin is nothing very scary. Nowadays, we have very good insulin administration devices. The insulin is given as a pen form with a very small needle, which one doesn't even realize the pain of the prick. So insulin is available in pen forms. Gone are the days of syringes and needles when one had to pull the syringes, fill up the needle and inject. Nowadays, it's in the form of pen devices. You can dial the number, inject yourself, you can carry your pen to your hotel, you can carry your pen to the office or workplace and inject there and have food. And there are good forms of insulin are available. The preservation of insulin is no, no longer a problem. So what kind of insulin? There are many, many styles and many, uh, dif many different kinds of varieties of insulin which are available. There are some insulin which are very long acting insulin. They work for up to 24 to 36 hours or 12 hours. So these injections are to be taken once a day only. These can be taken in combination with tablets. These are long acting insulin. Various long acting insulin preparations are available these days in markets, which is in form of Lantus insulin or Levimir insulin, which is to be taken only once a day. One can take it either in the bedtime or early in the morning and the insulin will be effective throughout the day. This is only once a injection, once a day injection will work throughout the day, but one has to take oral tablets in between throughout the day. These type of insulin generally the chances of lowering of sugar below a normal levels are generally less. One need to monitor only the fasting blood glucose and increase the dosage of bedtime insulin accordingly in consultation with their physician or diabetologist. Now, second variety of insulin which is generally used in type 2 diabetic is a mixed type of insulin. Mixed type of insulin is insulin in which there is a short acting component and there is a long acting component. What happens in diabetes when we eat food, the after food sugar will increase because body does not manufacture enough of insulin to control after food sugar. So one has to take an insulin which controls the after food sugar plus takes care of throughout the day sugar. So this kind of insulin preparation is mixed kind of insulin preparation. The mixed kind of insulin preparation has about 30 to 25 percent of rapid acting component which will take care of after meal sugar and 70 percent of long acting component which will take care of throughout the day sugar. So this kind of mixed insulin which is available as by different company like Novo Mix, Humalog Mix, Hume insulin mix. So these kind of mix preparation, different insulin preparations are available, which is generally taken pre-meal, before meal. But these kind of mix insulin are effective only for 10 to 12 hours. So one needs to take injection twice a day. The injection is generally taken once before breakfast and once before dinner. So once before breakfast, uh, insulin will cover after breakfast sugar and pre-lunch sugar. and some amount of post lunch sugar and the pre dinner insulin will cover the post dinner sugar and throughout the night sugar so this kind of mixed insulin injection can be taken twice a day now there is another regime of insulin which can be taken three times a day as i told you the mixed insulin does not cover 
the after lunch sugar very well so we can give three times rapid acting insulin and one long acting insulin at the night so the long acting insulin will take care of all throughout the day sugar and all the post meal sugar which rise because of food rap taken care by rapid acting insulin in this particular style of insulin we have to give insulin injection at least four times a day three times before meals and once at bed time so all the major peaks of the sugars will get covered why is this important see the more injection you take the better it is for you in controlling sugar because any time we take food the sugar level is going to go high so it is very important to cover the postprandial sugar and studies have shown that people who keep good postprandial sugar control they have lesser long term complication than people in whom postprandial glucose level are high so there are many studies showing that ppg level of sugars are very important very very well correlated with long term complications so there are three different styles of insulin which can be given there are other um, uh, methods of giving insulin which is like uh, by insulin pumps which are available which can be installed into the body cavity which release sugar which release insulin according to the uh, level but these are cumbersome devices and um, they require frequent monitoring of the sugars so uh, these are the various insulin injections which are available in the market as of now thank you for your patient listening